Now we'll move on to the topic two. That's about stages of career development. The previous topic we looked at about what is career development is all about. Now we are going to look at about what are the stages involved in career development. When we talk about stages of career development, I'm talking about what is the kind of a way actually you know the career progress or a career path can be set. One is from the organization point of view, you can set the you know HR policies in such a way that each job area or probably in the professionals uh, you know domain areas the career you know path can be set that means the career growth uh, you know can be worked out but other than that you know individually as an employee also they they are responsible for uh, uh, planning their career so these are the five stages of a career development when we talk about five stages of a career development how a career you know has been set by a particular individual when a person joins an organization for his first job he may not have a complete kind of an idea so first step what he can do is the first stage is self assessment he need to do a self assessment about himself as to what are the kind of you know skill set he has got so that's the way he can do this self assessment by doing a self assessment the individual or a job uh, you know uh, who or joins the job level first job level he might be able to analyze about his own skill area strength weakness and uh, what are the areas he need to you know improve upon and once he has done the self assessment that will give a complete kind of you know inventory about what is the skill skill set he can do very well and the next step is we need to you know go and find out about what are the kind of job opportunities are available and what are the kind of career growth opportunities are available and which path or probably which direction he might you know excel very well so these are the ways actually you know you can do the uh, research on the complete career development and the next thing is actually you know he can take a right kind of a decision making and then set his path goal and take move further on the same directions and ultimately you know over a period of time when you are grown to a particular level how you try to expand your network and contacts that will help you out in you know uh, exploring your horizons and ultimately you know you contribute more for the work in terms of your expertise and domain knowledge and these are the ways actually you know different five stages in which you know career development happens now let's look at each of the stage in detail coming to the first stage that is self assessment uh, always you know whenever a fresh executive who or comes out of the college has to first assess their own personality what kind of a personality are they are they introvert or an out you know extrovert or probably whether it is a timid kind of a personality or whether outgoing kind of a personality and is it social or a reserved likewise you know there are different kind of personality traits are there we may have to you know do a complete personality traits by analyzing a personality traits we can able to you know figure it out what kind of a job might be very very suitable and next comes you know the, the values individual value systems what is the kind of an individual value system is there what are the kind of a philosophy you know the individual has got about his life and what kind of a skill set he can do very well whether it is a technical skill or a managerial skill or it could be you know let's say like a, a collaboration or you know uh, what you call it as coordination skills so that we need to look into it very carefully and accordingly you know that uh, we need to to probably plan our career and ultimately it's all about your career interest also what area what field every employee is actually you know interested in and that particular thing will give you a lot of kind of you know freedom as to what kind of a choice you can select it and uh, if you look at it actually you know uh, there are many people who are, their education qualification and uh, background will be totally different but the kind of a job what they will be doing it's totally different take an example advertisement agencies is quite common you will come across lot of english literature pass out uh, you know graduates absolutely advertisement field and the english literature field is totally different but because of the kind of you know communication and the style of communication and the creativity part of it they take up this particular advertisement field as a kind of an area because of their own interest and their skill set so that's a way actually you know what happens is like uh, your education background might be totally different and uh, the kind of you know uh, career path what you select also might be end up in completely different kind of a field altogether so that's the way actually you know what happens is like your career interest which area you can do very well that skill area that has to be you know fixed it very well and the next one is of course once you selected that particular career area it is constantly it is a responsibility of the individual employee to learn and uh, gain a knowledge and completely learn the trade and tricks of the particular job and ultimately you know you need to keep working on again there is an 
you know two kind of an you know what do you call it is uh, choices will be there one is uh, going and joining for one particular organization as the you know full time employee or taking up a self employment so again there is a two kind of an you know direction so we need to look at it whether self employment is a, is the employee could able to you know or probably the individual could able to cope up with and get more and more kind of you know job opportunities or what do you call the project opportunities or is it you know going to be with any particular company full time so that kind of you know decisions at the self assessment stage itself you need to take about it there are certain kind of community uh, you know who are very good at their own self employment and because of their own skill set you know because of their entrepreneurial uh, ability and uh, skills they may not be doing very good with working with any particular company whereas if they are a self employed person they might be excelling very well so these wise actually you know some people might be having a entrepreneurial ability so that has to be looked into it again entrepreneurial ability you have the trading business and you have the corporate level setup and you have the services and you have different kind of you know businesses all together so these are the ways actually you know you can look in for what are the kind of an job opportunities and skill set and based on that you know individual can able to select and the next one is uh, when we look at it actually you know the personality the <clears throat> what kind of an you know skill set people has got for that you know holland uh, has come out with a model called as holland's model holland's model says that uh, every employee has got his own talent we need to you know probably analyze it you know in the beginning of your career itself in general if you look at it actually there are six types of you know people as people are there based on the kind of a characteristics what they possess there are some people who are very very investigative oriented people we investigated oriented people in this sense who would be very good at analytical who would be very good at mathematical skills and who will you know able to come out uh, everything you know look at from the number point of view for those kind of a people you need to you know probably take up the job related to that particular field take an example you are uh, you know software engineer when we look at software engineer why many it companies prefer more of engineering graduates main reason is in a software engineering you need to be you know more analytical and majority of the engineering graduates are very good at analytical skills especially mathematical ability and other other things and all and uh, especially in pure science area astronomy kind of an areas or probably in the uh, you know aeronautical uh, kind of an industries analytical skill is very much you know important next comes you know there is other kind of a people who have got an artistic kind of a temperament when we talk about artistic kind of a temperament uh, who are very good at creativity innovations coming out of the new new kind of you know art and uh, what do you call uh, you know the new kind of an ideas they generate for those kind of people advertisement field and business development business ideas and these are the areas that might be very very suitable and the third kind of a thing is there are some people are very very good at you know socializing when we talk about socializing they are very good at actually in, in interacting with the people and uh, they have got a excellent kind of people management skills for those kind of people they can look at either marketing field or probably hr field as a kind of an you know uh, very important kind of an you know uh, career development they can look into it and the people there are some certain people who has got leadership ability when we talk about leadership ability they know how exactly how how to get the things done and uh, they know exactly you know uh, what is the way they need to direct and it has got a visionary completely visionary kind of you know uh, thing who will think about long term orientation rather than a short term orientation and those kind of people actually you know will look for an enterprising level kind of you know uh, characteristics and those people can look out for an you know opportunity in more of uh, let's say like uh, you know business management area or they can start their own business uh, on their own so those people can shine very well and other kind of a people are conventional people when we talk about conventional people they have a little bit of analytical ability that means a numerical ability but you know they may not be able to think in a very long term but a very short term but they'll they'll be very happy doing the same work routine work again and again you know for over the years so those kind of people will be very suitable for a government jobs or a clerical kind of jobs and ultimately you know you have the other category of people it's called it as realistic people whatever kind of product have been given to them they will look at you know probably they will completely dismantle and then they will assemble 
such kind of facility or such kind of you know skill set they will be having it and those kind of people can look out for more mechanical and automobile and those kind of an areas so these are the ways actually you know holland suggests a different kind of an you know uh, characteristics of an people and according to the different characteristics of a people the individual has to you know spark out its talent or he can go to any mentor and then take up a support and based on that he can actually decide that what kind of a career will suit him better and uh, the stage two is your research so once you know about your own self assessment what category you fall under what are the kind of a skill set you have and the next test is actually you know next kind of an stages is you try to you know do a research about to match your skill set what are the kind of an you know career trend is available and in your own interest area how is the progress what are the kind of you know stages of career uh, you know opportunities are available that has to be you know done and uh, based on that you know by analyzing the particular career trend uh, you also need to collect lot of information as to each career level what is the kind of you know education qualification is required how you need to sharpen your skill set and what are the kind of companies who are providing such kind of career opportunities and what is the kind of you know opportunities for a long term and how that particular trend is going to change whether it is a long term orientation or is it a short term career that we need to you know probably analyze and once that has been done we need to you know probably do the information interviews and uh, you know information interviews is nothing but you try to you know go and attend certain kind of an you know workshops and interviews and face the interviews by collecting you know getting gaining ex uh, getting an exposure by gaining an exposure we can able to you know figure it out about as to what are the expectations of the industry and we can also do the job shadowing job shadowing is nothing but similar kind of a job we can able to you know take up and then try to do it as, the, as a kind of an you know short term kind of an assignment so that will give you more kind of a confidence and it will actually you know by getting into that particular uh, kind of an area or probably job shadowing the individual gets or gains a lot of information and experience about that particular field and once you are done that the third step you firmly take a call you try to you know decide that what is your going what is your you know career objective is going to be and uh, in that career objective personally what is that you are going to you know gain and what is the kind of you know level in which you wanted to grow and ultimately you know what is the lifelong learning through that particular thing and based on that you know goal setting has to be done so if you look at it actually the stage 4 is all about how do we develop a network and contact and uh, by you know doing the search about your work which are the organizations and corporates are providing such kind of an opportunities and keep actually you know sending lot of resumes and letter of communications and keep attending interviews and thereby you know we'll get a lot of kind of you know exposures and uh, you know idea about how is that particular field and fifth stage is taking up an offer accept it and uh, you know try to you know do the better kind of a job at the work and that's a way your career uh, get get started so these are the ways actually you know there are different kind of an stages in which career can be developed